you know, f frankly, this is like a, you've, the only way to think about this is like a war in which we, th we look at what the entire resources of the nation are and we ask how can we best deploy these to fight the virus, to save lives, because we know that without mitigating actions, hundreds of thousands of lives uh, would be lost. Uh, and therefore, how do we best get through it? You know, if people follow the advice, we'll get through this quicker and we won't have to enforce with these draconian enforcements that we've seen in other places in Europe. But we're monitoring it very closely. And, you know, the last thing I'd say is <laughs> it's evidently clear that everybody has got a role to play in, in stopping the spread of this virus. It is a true national effort. And I know that the measures that we've taken have been incredibly unusual and difficult and interfering with everybody's everyday life. But people need to follow them. That is the medical advice, not just for themselves, but that's important, but to keep others safe and to save lives. If you don't follow the advice, then we're going to have to keep these measures in place longer. So for everybody's sake, I think everybody needs to pull together and listen to the experts.